This happens so often, cash on deck or cash on demand. However, you want some money and you want to put somebody in debt and just have like some type of assurance you're going to get the money by a certain date. But a lot of time you're just getting capped out. Then you'd be stuck with a dilemma. Like I didn't had a couple of times where a dude be like, you know, I got you on store. That don't happen. They come with another excuse, then another excuse. And now I'm like, okay, do I want to make it go up? Do I want to try to get them beat up and not get my money? Like it's a real decision to be made or can you let it go? Or hopefully he don't owe a grip of people and they end up getting rid of him anyway. I can't count how many times some dudes and owe me and I find out they didn't owe 16 different other people and they got their ass whooped for them and got off the yard and I'm just assed out. I don't know, I ain't got no drug addiction, but going through the stuff that some of them drug addicts go through in prison, I wouldn't do drugs, bro. <laughs> like, what the f Bro, what the f This is, what? <laughs> I don't even understand what made you put this comment, but for any of y'all going to the county or prison, and this happened, you are not from the set, my boy. That is not an official. <laughs> you gonna get this so bad, probably beat up. Matter of fact, that reminds me. Interesting prison story. Now in the prison I was at, right, they had a couple of yards and all the yards went to school together. So we'd be able to go out the gate to go to school, but some people would be able to go into different yards or whatever. Or when they had tournaments, basketball tournaments or, or certain things, or football tournaments, soccer tournaments, whatever, you'll be able to go to the different yards. And then, you know, people as gang members or whatever, so they know who else is on the other yards. So on the, one of the other yards, it was, a, I think, a triple CMS where you take meds. So wherever you take the meds, they was able to have the punks over there. By them having the punks over there, they had all, they had all sorts of people. And there was this one blood. He was from PDL. I don't know his name. They told me his name before, but I don't remember. And they had a, uh, they had like a, a punk over there that was having a lot of dope all around the prison. I guess he was, no matter of fact, he was buying a lot of dope, I believe it was, because he was an Indian and he was getting them checks. And you, some of y'all know how that go. Anyway, he was a well-known punk around the prison. And his blood dude was just a regular blood dude. He had about a week left. But they say, I guess he just couldn't hold his urges. One day he walked up to the punk cell come in the cell and whip out <clears throat> say what can you do with this <laughs> they say the punk screamed and ran out the cell and told his homies <laughs> so this dude got one week left he tried to get at the punk the punk told he got beat up and sent to the other yard so now he the laughing stock because that's everything everybody was talking about the homie from five deuce was making jokes he like hey, yeah he must not be packing because the punk ain't want him <laughs> i'm like oh bro that's crazy Interesting, Los Angeles County Jail story. Bro, I don't, I don't know what you're trying to do. Like, are you trying to start some racial stuff on my page? I guarantee if I go to your page, like, you're a troll. However, okay, let's talk about blacks that join LAPD. Fuck them. But there is all races that turn snitch. In fact, my very first time in Los Angeles County Jail, one of my first cellies was a Southsider. And he the very one that laced me on watch who you talk to about your case. He showed me paperwork of one of his homies going to court and telling on him and getting paid for it and relocated. And it was because of information he was telling him about his case. And last, you sound fill in a blank because TikTok be uh, banning me, but some disrespectful stuff. Because at least in LA, is for sure more Hispanic Bloods and Crips than it is Black Southsiders. And it's probably primarily due to proximity language barriers there's some racism in there and just how the lower class is set up so go troll somewhere else i'm blocking you for sure